The west side of Manhattan might be the last place where you'd find a boat builder. But here among the trendy shops and restaurants, a group of volunteers is busy working on a miniature version of a traditional Whitehall gig, a large multi-purpose rowboat that was used up until the last century. Mike Davis co-founded Floating the Apple with David Lutz in 1992. Their goal was to reintroduce people, especially young people, to the joys of rowing and sailing on our urban waterways. Eight of them, eight washers, eight, eight nuts. And, and you want to put them on the outside of the boat and on the inside of the boat, right? Yes. Wow. A lot of us drilling what we've already filled with epoxy, a uh, hole for the bronze bolt that goes and holds the gudgeon on, which holds the rudder on by the pivot. Mike has always had an interest in the sea, but it wasn't until he was working as an archaeologist in Turkey, near the cradle of Western civilization, that he had a life-changing experience. I'd heard one of, my, uh, one of my hosts as a child had rowed and swam across the Bosphorus, which is the, the one big major waterway uh, that runs through Istanbul. And so I found a way of talking uh, mosque uh, uh, guards and, and, and fishermen uh, to loaning me their rowing boats and take off to Asia and eventually talk my Turkish friends to doing it with me, maybe come back with fish from a from a fishing boat over there with fresh figs or something like that for the dinner table that people were taking care of me. And it was wonderful. It was just, it was destination. It was always something different. Mike takes great pride in showing off the boats the volunteers are building to curious passers-by who discover this boat building workshop. As you saw it gradually going down as it takes on, it takes on water, you hope it's... They didn't have motors in those days. Lewis Norris is a volunteer for Floating the Apple, and he loves building boats. He has discovered the joy of teaching others his craft, especially kids. Being as this island of Manhattan was surrounded by water, it was a shame that the local residents, the kids in particular, didn't have any access to it. So we've made access. Norris always looks forward to helping school children make the parts that go into a finished gig, a process that can take over a year to complete. That's the ticket. And um, since I'm starting to stand it here, starting to get smooth. Any rough places? Feel with your finger? It, it's a great feeling of accomplishment, I must say. But I can't take all the credit. When the kids come, we have them do as much of it as we can. The teamwork that it takes to build this boat and the further teamwork it takes to operate it makes for a very tight-knit group of kids. On the banks of the Hudson River in downtown Manhattan, Floating the Apple has a boathouse at Pier 40, a former ocean liner terminal that is now used for commercial and recreational purposes. This boathouse is one of several waterfront venues around the city that has resulted from Floating the Apple's efforts to encourage the revival of community boathouses. The group organizes races and other events to attract kids from all over the city. Juan Rodriguez is a high school student who is helping today to supervise the races. 20 seconds! Each boat has a team of four rowers and a coxswain, or steersman. Each steersman sets the rowing pace and makes sure the team is heading in the right direction. Well, most of the time. For many of these kids, rowing on the Hudson is their first experience with the city's waterways. So these events are not just about learning skills or racing to win. They are about building teamwork, character, and cooperation so that in the race of life, everybody has a chance at winning. <laughs> 